What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Maldine back again with another pickup video. This time I'm back with one of the hottest, if not the hottest shoe releases of all 2016. We're going to be taking a look at the Air Jordan 1 Band. Now, just a quick history lesson, of course, most of you should know that this actually wasn't the shoe that was banned by the NBA. The shoe that was actually banned was the Nike Airship, a shoe that we haven't seen a retro of that for my collection and plenty of other collections I know out there, we would love to be able to get our hands on that shoe. Time will tell. I'm not holding my breath, but I'm actually happy to have this into my collection again. I got rid of my 2013 pair because the quality on this is head and shoulders better. Much, much better. Um, lucky enough to get three pairs. One pair definitely turned into a grail of mine. I was able to trade that with another shoe, but I'll get into that later in another video. And then I'm still waiting for another pair in the mail. But these shoes are absolute fire. I mean, the first thing right off the bat, we'll jump in. You got that height, the OG height of this shoe is perfect. I mean, much better than the 2013 pair that was only a you know, fraction higher than the mids. This is right on point. Same with the Chicago, same with the Shadow Backboards, anything, you know, with the OG branding that's been released within the last, you know, year, year and a half. Uh, major difference from any of the pairs that I've ever released is that we have tumbled leather, very similar to the Shadow Backboards on this pair. Some people don't like it. I think it's a welcome addition. I mean, anything to get that quality A1 is fine by me, Jordan Brand. We do have a darker red. I will say I think this is the darkest red that we've ever seen on the bread pair. Unlike the 2011 band pair that hit the outlets, we don't have the X on the back, but that does not mean that Nike didn't give us the X anywhere else on the shoe. You won't be able to see it from here, but I'll do a zoom in for you. You do have the size, which should be the first number to the left on the inside collar of the shoe, followed by the year, 84, the month, 10, and then the day, 18th, which is October 10th, October 18th. 1984, the day that they sent out this, uh, the band letter saying that those shoes were against Jersey Bulls to the Chicago Bulls. And then I'm going to have that X at the very end symbolizing that this is band. Of course, that's the logo, that's the trademark for this shoe. We don't have it on the back, the big, back, uh, the big red X on the back, but we don't have it on the shoe. On the tongue, you're going to have the Nike Air, of course, with the, you know, the words that you find on every pair right behind the tongue. The insole this time will have white red Nike Air on the insole. Comes with a normal, you know, cardboard insert as well. But the size tag should be on the inner left side. Toe has the pebbled leather as well. You have the smooth black leather on the out on the outer part of the toe. All the pretty much accent is smooth black leather whereas it's pebbled leather with the red accents. You're also gonna notice a bigger wings logo for any of you trying to legit check your pairs. Make sure it has that big wings logo. It should be hitting roughly right at the bottom of the top lace hole. Um, a couple things to look out for if you're looking at big pairs is the size of the swoosh on the outside here. It should get really skinny as you go to the back. Also, make sure you look out for Widow's Peaks here on the toe and look out for Widow's Peaks here on the back. Um, looking at the sole, of course, just that varsity red as opposed to the true red on the 2013 pair. As we look at the left shoe, pretty much the same. One thing you should notice is that you should have a white lace bag and a red lace bag. One thing I will say about the red laces, they're really not a great match on the dark red of the shoe. Not my cup of tea, but some people may really, really like that, but it's not for me. Um, yeah, I mean, this shoe is one I'm happy, like, again, very, very happy and fortunate and lucky that I was able to add so many to my collection, and one of them helped me get a shoe I really was looking for for a long time now. But without further ado, let's get to the on-foot shots. <laughs> 